Okay. So when is this all starting at 6.15? Yes, so the, start, the show starts at 6.15 and we'll introduce you right around 6.20, okay? Oh, okay. How do I know if she asked me to, if she friended me or not? Where am I? Oh, you need to go on yours. I am. I, did you get us live? Yep. Are you back on Zoom? Yep. Did you Zoom us out? We had to Zoom us out so that you could get this uh, on. Okay. No, she hasn't. Did you do live on yeah. Facebook? Did you turn? Now you have to go on another computer to transfer them on to all yeah. the pages. I thought that's what was happening there. No. She hasn't added you yet. She hasn't? Mm. Okay. She'll come on here. You know you have messages. Yeah. <laughs> I know. That's all right. <laughs> Erna, are you as good of a Facebooker as I am? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, I don't think she's faced. I don't think she has. Evis is like, you have nine messages. And I was <laughs> like, I know. <laughs> I'm not a big Facebook person, but I know we I have know. to be. Uh, I've been doing this 21 years myself. So, yeah, whatever. Yeah. See, our okay, newbies. we're going to be live right now. Okay. And hello to all my South Shore neighbors. This is Sharon McNamara, and you are, of course, listening to Talk Real Estate Roundtable. Here at Boston Connect Real Estate, we have our home studio here uh, at 19 Mattachusett Street, right in Pembroke Center, across from Stop and Shop. Uh, so if you're in the area, you'll see um, I have live on the radio up in the windows. So uh, feel come on by. We're here. Mm -hmm. Come say hello. We have somebody new. Are you nervous? I'm very nervous. Well, yes. don't be nervous. <laughs> don't be nervous. So um, tonight... Um, I have my team members with me. So I have Mary Baker, who is off. She is getting everybody settled uh, to get onto our social media. So again, you can go to Sharon Costa McNamara. You can watch us live there and uh, see the pretty faces of the ladies that are joining me this evening. Uh, or you can go to all the Connect pages. So there's Pembroke Connect, Marshfield Connect, Hanover Connect, any South Shore town that you can think of. Put Connect on the end of it. That's how you'll find us uh, there live. Uh, we have George in studio. Hello, George. How are, I am do any better and I would be on vacation. <laughs> do you believe that? I'm sick of the snow. That's why we're having this mm -hmm. topic tonight. So, um, oh, so tired of it. But uh, but we have a new team member. Um, I was going to have Mary introduce you. See my board up there and it says for her to introduce you. So, um, but we do have Evis joining us tonight. And Evis has been a longtime friend of Mary mm -hmm. Baker. And you grew up in St. Margaret's as well, right? Yes. Yep. It's right a, in Dorchester. So weird because right where I grew up too. So uh, where, you know. It was meant to be, I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it actually was. You have brought a lot of laughter uh, to the offices upstairs for sure. So uh, we're very, very happy to have you on our team uh, selling real estate, not just for Boston Connect, but directly working with me and Mary yeah. uh, to help all of our clients. And why don't you tell our listeners a little bit about you? Of course. Yeah. So I always tell people my name is Evis. It's like Elvis without the L. It helps them remember it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, I am from Dorchester, um, live there until we moved to Quincy. So now I'm a, a living Quincy, which is great. Um, I have two little kids. I have an eight month old and a two year old. They're fun. Um, they're lively. They keep me busy. Um, and we live with my husband and us four in our home. That's awesome. And I love, we live with our husband, my husband. <laughs> We He's there him. too. We, we let him in the house every once in yeah. a while. We let him stay with us. You know, that's the husband guy. Um, yeah. So we, again, uh, we're just really happy. I mean, you have been in the real estate industry yeah. for a few years now, a couple yes, of years. Yep. I know that you've bought some investment properties yourself um, and you've worked with Mary as your buyer's agent. Yes. And yeah. Mary helped with my first home and then a few others after that. <laughs> yes. And we're very excited to have you on the team too, because you, you're bringing, um, like, you know, not different areas but I think that you're bringing sort of a you know other sides of TikTok yeah. and all these other things you're yes, getting married yes. to get out of her box a little bit oh yeah I think so I think so we have a TikTok page you know <laughs> follow us on TikTok and 
Facebook, you know, Hello. Evis Mason. It's if you look up Evis Mason and Mary and, and mm-hmm. Sharon, you'll find all of us there. Um, yeah. But, yeah, we're trying to use social media a little bit more, that's for sure. Yeah, you definitely will not find me on TikTok, I don't think. <laughs> but I, I want to do one of those fun dances. I think that that would be really fun to oh, do. Oh, yeah, so. or like the, the lip syncing. Yeah, I can do that. You can definitely do that. Oh, I can sing. No. <laughs> you don't have to sing. It's like a voiceover. <laughs> I can dance, but I can definitely dance. I want to do one of those fun dances. But um, So, again, thank you to all of our listeners, our WATD listeners and our podcast listeners. Um, Melissa Wallace is not joining us tonight. Melissa um, did the show last week. Um, I was in and out a little bit with um, Kristen Howlett, who's yeah. one of our full-time agents. So we're just sort of switching things around a little bit around here and you know, getting different voices and opinions um, on our show. Uh, tonight, this morning, I was like, oh, I don't even know what I'm going to talk about tonight. And I just happened to be looking out the door, out my window. And I was like, enough of the freaking snow enough. already. And it's not even done yet. I know. And we still have like two months to go. <laughs> I know. And it's like, I shoveled yesterday and... And I haven't really done that in a long time just because yeah. Mark's just always done it. And now that we own this building, I just felt like I felt bad for him that he was up here shoveling and I was going to go jump on the Peloton and I was like, oh, I should shovel. So I shoveled. But I'm, yeah. That's the one like gift of marriage is that I never have to shovel again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or take out the trash. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I, don't, I, didn't, I said this in one of our office meetings this week where I was doing a training and I said, um, you know, Mark had made a mention. I don't know if he's listening or not. I know he was working late tonight, but he said something like, oh, I, I fed the dogs again this morning. And I was like, oh, great, because when you went to the bathroom this morning, you had toilet paper. Mm-hmm. No need to thank me. I've been doing that for 30 years, yeah. okay? <laughs> so And it's clean, and you have food, and you yeah, have everything. It's just amazing how that laundry gets so clean and everything else. So um, hello, Mary Baker. Hi, how are you? I, if any better, you know how it is. So we're just talking about how I came to my topic this morning. So I call in uh, to Rob Hackler in the morning show on Tuesday mornings just to give a preview of what we're talking about. I had no idea this morning because we didn't discuss it. And I said, I'm sick of snow. I want to be a snowbird. And I was like, there we go. Um, But it got late in the day when I started planning. So um, I was doing some research and I've been in the industry a very long time, 21 years now. So when I'm looking through people's profiles, I can always tell like... Who's who, gonna who, who who stands out? Who's legit? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and, too legit. yeah, exactly. So I was very fortunate to come across a guest that we're gonna have tonight, mm-hmm. and she is also a full time realtor. She didn't even tell me she's a full time realtor. I just know she is, just based on our <laughs> conversation, right? <laughs> you can. Oh, jump. you guys like hit it off. We, we were next door. Fast friends. Yeah. yeah, I know. That's what they said, Amy, by the way. We're going to, Mary's going to introduce you in a minute. But when I hung up with you, they were like, oh, it looks like you have a new friend. <laughs> so <laughs> Makes perfect sense, though. Yeah, it absolutely does. And we'll see each other in person and maybe at the end of March. Yeah. So, but Mary, you want to do the honors and introduce our guest from Florida. And do you live in Naples? What part I are you? I live in Naples, Florida. Yes. Okay, perfect. I have since 2005. Awesome. Um, yeah, so we definitely creeped on your profile and we're reading all about you. So I did know that from New York, right? We'll have a fun fact for you later. Um, so Amy Van Wyke, is that right? Am I yeah. saying that right? So Amy yeah. Van Wyke from Premier Plus Realty Co. Luxury Division. And you're actually located in Naples. You're a broker associate there, right? Yes, correct. Awesome. Um, so thank you for being so brave to uh, spur of the moment, kind of just jump on the radio show with three <laughs> random girls that you've never met up in Boston. And if you want me to chat, I'd be happy to chat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything prepared, so it's just coming from experience. Yeah. That's all right. We'll make it fun. We'll ask you lots of questions mm-hmm. and just be yourself. Right? And look, look, she and we're, again, if you're watching us on Zoom, um, not Zoom, but if you're watching us on Facebook, you can see that Amy has like nice glowing skin, you oh, know, yeah. a nice, that, a nice Shirt. She's got a nice tan going yeah, we have, on. We have turtlenecks on. I'm pale. Oh, really? I'm pale. I, don't hear. <laughs> I want to, believe me. So, uh, But for our listeners, just so you know, we're going to be talking about snowboarding. Um, and one of the things that's so important is to be able to connect with a person down there that is going to really mm-hmm. stay in contact, not only with you, but with your agent up here. So 100%. we love to have sort of that relationship with people just so we can, we're all one team, even even though we work yeah. at different companies at that point for in different states, but just to stay on track, especially if you're selling a home here, to 
to purchase one mm-hmm. down there. Um, but Amy is going to be great. She's going to be talking about new construction. She's going to give maybe some tips for you, like, nice. you know, how to, you know, really find that perfect home how the inventory is down there. Do you have to move as fast as you do up here? Mm -hmm. Um, Why is the lifestyle so great Did you read our agenda already? Oh, I did not. (laughs) We wrote all of those questions in there. Really? (laughs) Well, you guys are so prepared. (laughs) Yes. Very easy to answer all those. All right, great. (laughs) So, Amy, do you want to just tell our listeners here in Massachusetts, again, you're from the Naples area, um, and I know that you have a team member that services some of, like, the Fort Myers area and everything, but tell our listeners a little bit about you, your experience in the market, and all that great stuff. All right, well, when you first started chatting, I heard you mention something about singing, and (laughs) full disclosure, full disclosure, I am also a singer. Oh, uh, nice. Nice. <laughs> you can I sing was, I'll dance <laughs> yeah, yeah I was a, a entertainer cruise director for 10 years I'm a professional performer all my life and that's what brought me to Manhattan and moving to Manhattan as an actress you know you either have to be a waitress or a realtor <laughs> you're trying to make it so my husband's a professional jazz musician as well so we moved there and my mom always said you'd be a great realtor so I was like oh well that sounds interesting hmm. so, I did. I went and I got my license and I absolutely fell in love with real estate in Manhattan. And we lived there. I became a realtor there in 2003 and I did it till mid 2005. We got pregnant with our first child. So we decided I wanted to be near mom and dad. So I either had to move to Green Bay, Wisconsin, where I was born and raised, or Naples, Florida, where they spend the other six months. So I was thrilled because I found out that in Manhattan, they had a um, broker's reciprocity. I could get my Florida broker's license in Manhattan. Nice. And so I did. Um, I enjoyed it so much there. I absolutely loved it. I got my Florida broker's license there. And then I moved to Naples. Nice. And, uh, I did. I did a lot of interviewing with all the different agencies. And I absolutely fell in love with my broker, Dave Gallus at um, Premier Plus Realty. Great man, full integrity, man of the Lord. And oh. I was just really, it, it was a perfect fit. And so I've been with them since 2006. Wow. I decided to hang my license because I didn't want the headache of having, you know, <laughs> yep. I just want to deal with my own clients, not with other agents. Um, yeah. You know, I just wanted to focus on what I was doing. So I chose to hang my license, but I am a broker associate. I do have the Amy Van White group and I do train, uh, you know, me- I, the mentees that are coming yep. in and I speak like I am with you. Mm-hmm. To them, um, kind of once a month, and just kind of encourage them. I'm kind of the Anthony Robbins of facility, <laughs> encouraging everybody. It's a great career. It's a lot of fun. Do it right. Do it with integrity, mm. and you'll succeed. You know, well, it's so. Yeah, it's so interesting, though, because you know where I'm going to be going with this, right? I 100% do. (laughs) So it's just so interesting is that I, you know, I am the broker owner of my company. And I just feel like I was the one that took the risk. But I just always felt like somebody else was sort of, you know, pushing me along. And you said that your broker is like one with the Lord, right? Like, it's just, yeah, you know what? But like, we found there's now absolutely no coincidence why I found you because I have been I saying knew that from when you first called me really yeah, yeah. It, was, it was just like yeah it was just the comfort look I have goosebumps which means it's real so, so and all of your talking points Amy I don't know if like we, we call it the elevator pitch all of your talking points is literally everything she stands for so mm-hmm. that's, that's where you're like oh this is very okay. this is very yeah. interesting which is great which makes a great team for our right. clients yeah. when we're here and when we're down there and when you're talking about integrity that's I honestly feel that that's what Boston Connect just symbolizes. And, you know, we're not motivated by money. We're motivated by helping people. Just happens that the more people we help, the more money that we make. We're just making a living, you know. So, and I don't gauge success by numbers. Yeah, so. Right, and as you and I spoke earlier, our business really is referral. It's not... Mm -hmm. It's not trying to get. It's trying to... It's it's not that we're getting. We're receiving so we can give. Exactly. And oh, I really like that. Model, and that's what I teach and I try to impress on anybody that comes my way who's new. You know, it's mm-hmm. not about the get. It's about receiving graciously and then giving back the best you can because mm-hmm. they're your boss. Your client is your boss. And, true. You, mm-hmm. you know, you have to take it with high regard. Yes. Yeah. 
Absolutely. So I just happen to love Amy even more. <laughs> um, but well, no coincidence, too. She just said your parents coming from Wisconsin to Naples, Florida, they're, they're literally snowbirds. They're the original oh, snowbirds. Yeah. 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 That we're talking about. And I was like, no. Oh. Well, and I also so most was, people here are. I mean, I I mean, it's really funny because when I moved here, I was you know I was an older mom because I was trying to make it in showbiz, so <laughs> heard a little later. But what was interesting is most of my friends are about my age with the age of my children's you know ages. Mm-hmm. So we're yeah. a lot of people are transplants here, and especially now. Yeah. Well, 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 it's interesting too because um, Mary, I don't even think I've told you yet, but um, we're thinking we are gonna we're supposed to go down to uh, I March. Overheard. Oh, at the end of March. <laughs> I, I yeah. overheard. So to go visit my brother-in-law Michael, yeah. and um, I was saying, well, we should connect and have dinner. I'd love to introduce you to my brother-in-laws and you know Julie. It, they're from actually Kevin and Julie who live in Naples, the ones that mm-hmm. I was telling you about on those numbered streets. I don't know much about the area on the water. Um, they're from Wisconsin. Oh, really? Wow. Yes. What, what a small world. world. Yeah, what a small world. Yeah, I would have to look it up, but I don't know exactly wow. where. Yeah, they have a place in Chicago. They were they have a house in Wisconsin, and now they're down in Naples. So, yeah, so that will be a really great connection. So we're going to have you a You guys dinner. are going to have a blast. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah, it will be fun. <laughs> Can I come? <laughs> <laughs> no, you will be working. That's, that's why you're on the team. Oh, yeah. down the fort. <laughs> See, this is how it works. Like, you're on the team, so I don't have to do as much, okay? <laughs> Mary obviously missed that part with you. We haven't gotten there yet. She doesn't know what she's in for. I know. (laughs) So to all our WAT listeners, um, again, you are listening to Talk Real Estate Roundtable with uh, Sharon McNamara from Boston Connect Real Estate along with my team members, Mary and Evis. So, yes, we're so happy to be here. I'm going to let the ladies sort of uh, start the conversation, but if you have any questions, Mm -hmm. 781-837-4900. George will pipe you through to us, or you can go on Facebook and... um, send us some questions that way so go ahead mary b mary b okay um mm-hmm. so and you kind of already touched upon it amy i was one of my first questions is like how much of your business is really snowbirds so people mm-hmm. who are yeah everybody pretty much everybody <laughs> and so and you, you answered <laughs> another yeah, question honestly, about 80 percent um i would say yeah are snowbirds wow mm-hmm. That's a okay. lot. That's a lot, yeah. And mm-hmm. what what does it mean to be a snowbird? Mm-hmm. Well, like, what, what is that? So a lot of people, after they retire or while they're about to retire, they're, they're knowing they want to be here. They're not quite ready to move here full time. But they understand that when they retire, they move to Florida and there's no income tax. They save a lot of money on taxes. So a lot of people selling their businesses and this and that, and they're wanting to come here. In order to be a homestead person here, you have to live here six months in a day. Okay. Okay. And, you know, have that, that's how you get homesteaded here. And a lot of people do that for tax reasons. And of course, the beaches and the sun, the weather, the weather. Um, and especially nowadays, I'm, I'm going to just say it, a lot of people, a lot of people, because of what's going on in the world are mm-hmm. moving here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just because of the mask mandates and vaccination mandates yeah. here. So it's, it's, we can basically say that they're a different colored state than what we are here in Massachusetts, <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, so it's, state yeah, versus good state, state, right? Very bluntly, that, that is exactly it. Yeah. And, that, and most of my clients, honestly, I would say 99.9% wow. is why they are moving here. And then, of course, my other Thanks. you know niche is referrals from those clients, Mm-hmm. with more snowbirds but then now they've established residency here so now they are full-timers you know what i mean yeah. so mm-hmm. it, it's hard not to love naples florida mm-hmm. i can honestly say i've never been i know this terrible no terrible, I, I haven't i've only traveled to florida once um yes. and i've never been to naples i've been to I've naples once things. my freshman year of college we went there for our bat uh, for um spring break Mm. Yeah. Which like isn't like you know where it's not really spring 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 spring. <laughs> but one of our speech, but not necessarily. <laughs> well, one of the like, I played like volleyball in college, and like one of my teammates, her uncle owned like this big mansion in Naples. So like he's like, oh, why don't you guys come down? Yeah, everything so paid for, so it was perfect, and it's beautiful. Yeah, it is very, very, very you pretty. Know, there's yeah. something very different about Naples than everywhere else. And I'm not saying I, there are of course many beautiful places in Florida. But there is something about Naples. First of all, it's further south, so you can rely more on the weather. Although, having said that, it was 48 degrees this morning. Oh. And we, yeah, we've had it was three degrees, degrees here. I'll <laughs> take the 48 over here. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a, we've had a cold front since like 
it's been pretty cold here since November, right. December. So, mm-hmm. um, but lovely, perfect, you know, 58, 40 to 58 mm-hmm. in the morning, they might get up to 73, 75 during the day, but next week, the eighties are coming back from what I hear. Oh, wow. But I will say, if it's that cold here, imagine how cold it is north in the northern part mm-hmm. of Florida. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're you're better off, you know. The, that's why my parents moved here. They said the weather is just much more reliable in Naples. But also, there's something about the beaches, the infrastructure, the landscape here. Mm-hmm. Um, lots of it's very cultural. Lots of entertainment. I am an act. I still perform actually. Um, oh, that's wow. awesome. Or not? I do. We raise hundreds of thousands of dollars for various charities, and I perform with a gentleman named Paul Todd, who's sort of a, a celebrity here in Florida. And um, yeah, it's it's awesome. Not only obviously not only yes, there's just a ton of. In fact, I told you I used to work on cruise ships, and the other day a comedian came to my mother's development where she lives. And he said he worked for Carnival Cruise Lines for 10 years, and so did I. And so she happened to go up to him and asked if he knew me. He's like, oh, my gosh, yes. How are she and Peter? Oh, that's awesome. I was like, oh, Lawrence, oh my gosh. Oh, that's <laughs> Small great. world. And let let the world get smaller because before I had my children, I worked at Reebok. And while I was at Reebok, then I didn't go back after I had both my girls. But my boss from Reebok actually left and worked at Carnival Cruises (laughs) (laughs) as a C-level. Yep, he was a C-level, you know, executive at Carnival Cruises. Mm, Well, hey, you learn a little bit more about me every day. (laughs) So, yeah, so. So my point is, and then they have the Philharmonic and they have the Barbara B. Man where Broadway shows come in. So there's all of that. And then the best restaurants, you know, yeah. all of the top notch restaurants and just the, the boating. We recently bought a boat and nice. oh my gosh, that opened up a whole new world. 10,000 hmm. islands to explore right around Marco Island, you know. Shell Island. Do you go to Shell Island or Pine Island or something? Oh, that, so that would be further north near Sanibel. And I've been to Sanibel. I've been to Captiva. I haven't been to Pine, but I do know it's very lovely. Yep. Yep. So my brother-in-law has a boat down there and well, we're just going to have to get her here up to Massachusetts <laughs> because we oh, also have to go down, down there. Yeah. yeah, but we also have a boat oh, so true. we can take her over to Egertown or over to Martha's Vineyard and we can do nice. some stuff. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. I want to go to yeah. Cape Cod. I haven't been yet and I would love to go there. Oh, oh yeah. she it's will awesome. show you everything. I will show you Cape Cod by boat. So, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I was going to say what type of boat, but we won't get into that because I definitely want to give, we have. Don't digress we, too much. Yeah, because we have listeners who are listening mm-hmm. this morning and they're sending me text messages. We can't wait for tonight. So uh, in tonight's topic. So what are some of the difficulties that you're seeing right now in your market? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I know we had a conversation earlier, very similar to what we have here. But for those people who want to come down in what time of year, like, what when should they start looking you know is there seasonal times for them right that that right now obviously it's packed down here like i said we have more when when ever since covid happened and everybody realized that they can work from their computer why not live in florida instead of wherever Mm -hmm. they were living because it's beautiful i can enjoy it and i can do work from my computer so honestly the biggest thing going on right now is very very little supply still a huge demand Mm-hmm. I specialize in all areas. Um, pre-construction is something that I've always been a real advocate of because obviously of uh, the warranties, it's newer. And if, hey, if you're moving here at 55 to 60 and you're going to be living here for the next 30 years, I'd rather see you in a brand new place than something that's already 30 years old. Mm-hmm. Now, there are those that have been refurbished and this and that. And so, but even resales, I mean, such a small supply compared to the demand. So my biggest piece of advice is if people want to move down here, they need to be prepared. Are you going to pay cash? Are you going to get a mortgage? If you're going to get a mortgage, be pre-approved, have that pre-approval letter in your hand. And quite honestly, if you're coming from the North and you're going to buy in the South, I highly recommend you call me and ask me (laughs) who you should get pre-approved by. Yes. That's the other issue. I just had a a conversation with one of my group members whose client was having issues with their mortgage broker from a different, you know, area than Naples. And it's just, you have to be ready. You have to be Johnny on the spot. You have to know what you're doing. You have to be with a realtor who knows what they are doing because Mm -hmm. there's so much to know, even pre-construction, depending upon builders, they have their systems in play. Tomorrow, Mm -hmm. I'm going to a new construction place with a, with a buyer. The, the, the uh, salesman representing the builder 
said, just so you know, we do have exactly what your buyer needs. However, there are 71 people that want the same one and we are going to be releasing wow. four. So your client, we want to show them it all. We want to make sure they love it. Wow. And then we'll be in the lottery with 73 people for the same home in which we are releasing four lots. Wow. If somebody so that's that's good at math, do that percentage right there. Right. Four lots for 70 for 71 people. That's yeah. no, are those 71 people yeah. totally serious? No. You know, yeah. they yeah, throw me in the lottery, let's see what happens. And then yeah, if they true. get chosen, a lot of them are like, no, I'm not ready yet. So they go to the next person, the next person. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it with a different builder is they will release. I'm in and I'm in another situation this Friday. I have to give highest and best mm -hmm. from my client for just the lot. So there's the base price on the home, mm -hmm. and then there's the price of the lot. But whoever is going to get that property, it's the highest bid on the lot. So the oh. lot, they're asking 243000 Okay. The base price of the home is 600000 let's say. Mm -hmm. They have to give their highest and best in the lot. So of course, my client said to me, well, what do you recommend? What should I do? I said, well, I can't look in a crystal ball. But what I will tell you is I have a very good relationship. That's the other thing. I have a very good relationship with all my salespeople in all my different communities. So we trust each other. We can communicate. Mm -hmm. Everything is ethical and above board. Of course, she can't tell me if she has a client that wants the lot, what the price is. But what I can ask her is, what was the last one to sell? They released two last month. What did the highest one go for? So they're asking 243, the highest went for 497. So then I say to my client, what's it worth to you? What would you like to bid on the lot? Knowing that, what would you like to bid? Wow. And that's, we take it from there. That blew my mind, sorry. Yeah, yeah that's, that, that blows I, my mind. Yeah, so now they're paying for the lot and then on top of that is the is cost the, of the house. The base price of mm -hmm. the home and then the options which go in the home. So your flooring, your, you know, they get to choose their countertops, their flooring, their cabinets. Now, <laughs> another thing that's changing, pools have been a huge issue. Wow. Yeah. They cannot keep up with the makings for a pool <laughs> mm -hmm. or they cannot keep up with all the sales. I mean, we had a tremendous year last year. Never in a million years did I think COVID would have made me triple my business, uh, yeah. but it did because everybody wanted to be here. But as a result, they have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the first time ever that I've seen a builder close on a home with a temporary CO because the people wanted to move in and the pool was not completed because they could not get the supplies in time mm -hmm. because they were stuck out in the middle of the ocean. That was an issue here too with pools in the summer. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. wait, there's such a backup where like the quotes are ridiculous. Like yeah. a friend of mine got quoted like $81,000 like for a pool that, I mean, wasn't anything fancy. And oh, that doesn't include the yard work. Oh, no, no, none of that. Around, yeah, the patio no. or any of that. So yeah, they've honestly doubled if not tripled. And cost mm -hmm. from yeah. this particular pool company that was putting their pools with this particular builder. Do you know what I mean? Yep. So yep. What I say to my client is there, first of all, they're no longer selling pools. This builder is no longer selling pools. You can buy the mm -hmm. house, you can buy the lot, you build the house, you choose your options, but you'll have to do your pool aftermarket. Mm -hmm. But that's okay because you know what? There are a lot of pool companies out there. So now I'm doing my homework and getting a bunch of names of people. And I've already referred one to somebody. She's very happy with what she's hearing. And he came in half the cost of what this other builder pool. Yeah, would yeah. Have. You know. Let me ask you this with that part of it is, I mean, does every lot come with almost like, you know, diagrammed where you can put the pool or do you have to do all that research? That's a really good question. So if you're buying from a builder and they are specking out the homes, which they're pretty much doing now for a number of reasons, one of the big reasons is because of permitting here in Collier mm -hmm. County. You know, you have to get all this stuff permitted. So what they're doing, some builders allow you to choose various structural items. Some do not. Mm -hmm. Those that allow you to choose the structural items are now choosing them themselves based on what most people want, yeah. right? Yep. So to keep costs down, um, and to get the house ready for you to do what you want to do aftermarket, they're typically pre-plumbing for an outdoor kitchen. They're pre-plumbing for an outdoor gas fireplace because a lot of our new communities are now going gas. And then they pre-plumb for the pool. And in this particular situation on Friday where I'm helping a client bid, they are pre-plumbing for a dock. Oh, because, okay. Yeah. 
So, you know, it's, there's a lot to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it sounds like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a lot of different developments that offer a lot of different things for a lot of different reasons. And then they have their ways of going about how you are able to buy one. So the area that you're talking about right now, obviously, is close to the water because they're going to be permitting for a dock. So are you finding, I would guess that it would be a little more difficult to find bigger parts of land, parcels, yeah. parcels of land on the water still. And so, what do people with boats do if you're not on the water? So, so what, what I was just talking about is actually a development that is on Lake Como, which okay. are two huge quarry lakes that are actually boatable. Hmm. So, and this is particular development is located in Fort Myers. Okay. And so they have what they call big lake access. Okay. And that is where that dock is going to be. But it's very different here because most, most homes that I sell well, I shouldn't say that, I guess, but a lot of homes that mm -hmm. I sell are in like a golf community or yeah. a clothing community or a pickleball tennis community, highly amenitized community, because, you know, we ran out of land. I mean, Naples is big, but it's not that big. And so what yeah. we're finding is the developers are coming in, they're having to build further east, which means further away from the beach. Mm -hmm. So they're building highly amenitized communities where people feel like they don't ever need to leave. They just want to yeah. have a good time and meet their friends and meet their neighbors and have all their social events right there. And then of course, if they want to, they can, but that's that's really the trend. Um, mm -hmm. As many and many, pickleball is huge, golf is huge, tennis, bocce ball is huge. And then they have their own activity director. It's like being a cruise director on land. Mm, wow. That we have a client right now that's down there. She does pickleball. Yeah. Yeah. And she's yeah, going to be selling huge. her, yeah, unit, one of her units, her place up here, actually. I think she wants to be down there more permanently. Yep. So, um, but you know, it's interesting too, because I was talking, I was telling you earlier, my accountant and my, his wife is my QuickBooks pro. And I was, you know, every time I talk to them, I actually have goosebumps right now about them All because right. I'm always so happy for them. I mean, I'm not happy he's retiring, but this is his last year and he's yeah, retiring. Everybody deserves to retire. Everybody deserves it, but they have a place down there and they're, she's there the majority of the time yeah. now mm -hmm. because she can still do her services remotely. But I loved hearing, I have goosebumps throughout my legs right now, like Christmas time in the holidays and um, like they had both, they're a Jewish family. So there was, you know, Jewish festivities, there was, you know, Christmas festivities, sure. you know, golfing with their friends, there's a book club, a mm -hmm. cooking no, club. Totally. It's just so much for them to do. To that point, it's so important. Like when, I, when my clients come down, the first thing I ask them, and we know we have a conversation with Connor, and I say, listen, whatever's meant to be is going to happen anyway, so don't worry about it, you mm -hmm. know? That's, that's my motto. And it typically always does happen that way. And my client's like, oh my gosh, Amy, I'm so glad it happened this way, not the way I thought I had in mind for it to happen. Mm -hmm. But one of the big things is I ask them, what lifestyle do you want? Because a house is a house is a house. Mm -hmm. But what lifestyle do you want? What are your activities? You know, are you a private person? Do you you know, because obviously with a lot of the amenities comes higher fees, but mm -hmm. that's worth it to a lot of people. Yeah. Um, and then some people do just want their privacy. Well, then, okay, let's talk about some more quieter developments. I mean, there's such a personality behind each development. Mm -hmm. And what are offers looking like in those developments? Like, are they seeing one? Are they seeing 20? You know, for the I mean, resales? For the resales, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So our resales is a whole different, well, it's, it's another animal. Oh, that. I, um, <laughs> I had, it was so funny. I have to tell the story really quick. I had a lady call me up my Zillow reviews and interview me. And she said, she was going to interview 30 people on the phone. And then she was going to invite 10 oh, in. And then for those 10, she's going to have five. And then for those five, she's going to have, and I do just like when I met you, Sharon, that I was going to be her realtor. Just, we hit it off. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we talked yeah. about the board and, you know, yeah. it was like, and, and she told me that afterward too. She's like, you know, I knew, I knew within the first five seconds, but what was, what I told her was, well, anyway, I went to the interview and funny enough, I didn't bring any of my marketing material. It, again, it wasn't about me and this is what I did and this is what I sold and this is what I do. And it was about her. And I went in there with Tommy, my group member. And I said, listen, this is about you, what you want us, how you want us to service you. Mm -hmm. So long story short, I didn't, I forgot all my marketing material because I knew the second we listed it, we'd probably that day we would, we would have like 10 showings. The next day we'd probably have 10 offers that weekend after two open houses, we'd probably be presenting about 30 offers. 
Yep. Can I tell you that is exactly what happened? Mm-hmm. And before she hired me, she said, can I just ask you, you didn't bring any marketing material. And I laughed and I told her why, mm-hmm. because that's what happens. And she had a fantastic property. So to answer your question, I didn't mean to be too long winded there, but no, you know, yeah, no. there are multiple offers. And what's really funny, I just had a gorgeous listing that I sold in 10 days. But on the eighth day, my seller was saying, should I be nervous? Why hasn't this sold yet? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. 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 happening. Eight days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And on the 10th day, it sold. But another one I got, and I did, I got a listing in the, in the second day I did open house, we got to offer that night. So yeah. that's typically what happens. That's why I'm saying you have to be prepared. Yeah. And, um, You know, a lot of people say, oh, I know I'm not going to get in the game if it's not all cash. What I'll say to those people is maybe, but if you're prepared with the mortgage, it's like cash. You know, if you come in strong and you're prepared, we can make that work, but you have to be prepared. How much over are you seeing if there's 10 offers? I mean, we recently had one last year. We had 40 offers after three days, 92 showings, 40 offers. Crazy. On for six, what, six seventy nine, and it we had offered like nine hundred thousand yeah. dollar offer. So, are you seeing that same type of emotional value? Yes, but here's, yes, but I always say be careful yeah, um, with that. And I, I'm going to give you an example. I had a very, very wealthy client couple who wanted to purchase a Gulf Access property on Marco Island. Mm-hmm. Okay, now the property I think was listed for i don't know one million one it was it wasn't horrible but it was expensive and it was totally redone and it was beautiful and it got everybody's emotions like they had an open house and everybody was all fired up about this property but the reality is it was built in um like the 1970s and mm-hmm. refurbished right so sorry my thing went my um so anyway people were going crazy on their offers and my client wanted to go in 400,000 more than asking with zero contingencies, including zero wow. inspections. Yeah. Okay. Now they had a seawall that was from 1970. They had a roof. We don't know mm-hmm. that seller's disclosure didn't say it was brand new. I mean, there were things that needed to be looked upon and it mm-hmm. was such an emotional reaction. I don't care. I want it. Well, and I said, listen, I know you want, it. I'll do whatever you want. I'm your agent. And if you mm-hmm. want me to submit that offer, I will, but I have to tell you what my, you know, precautions would be. And that is I explain the seawall, I explain the roof. Like the husband was loving me for having that conversation, but she was a little upset with me. Yeah. (laughs) You know, and I said, listen, I'll do whatever you guys want, but they ended up finding great properties and not moving forward on that because that was a real risk. Now, some people don't care. They have all the money in the world to put a new seawall and a roof on them. That's great. You know, Mm -hmm. but let's, Mm -hmm. let's understand what it will cost if you do that. So and also, I do find the emotional highest and best. And then when they actually get it, they have buyer's remorse and it goes back on the market or it doesn't appraise out. Yep. Yeah. We see the same thing. We're saying the yep. same exact thing. Yep. Um, go ahead. Did you guys have, I, I'm not looking at your little list, but I'm sure that because I had the great conversation <laughs> well, with her earlier. So I already have all my questions answered. Well, so you're, you're naturally answering a lot of the yeah. questions that we talked about. But one thing that I'm always curious about is, and I think people that are considering moving from, you know, the Northeast and going down. Are they selling their houses up here? Do you, do you find that they're selling their houses yes. up here and, and exactly. relocating to like a rental down there first no. and then trying to find something? Cause we had a client once that, um, they sold their, this actually the same people that you were talking about. It was in Maine instead. Mm-hmm. They waited a year and a half for their new construction house to be built and rented up in Maine the whole, sure. the, the, the whole time. Yeah. yeah and, and a lot of people do have to wait, but Here's the deal, you guys. Even rentals are hard to come by. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's true. Very there true. Are so many people moving here, which is wonderful. I mean, I have met the most wonderful people, and you know, it's great. Um, but it's it's real right now, and you know, people have to be patient with that. A lot of my clients are from your neck of the woods, actually, and mm-hmm. um, they also are selling for top dollar yeah. where mm-hmm. they're coming from. Um, and so now, and a lot of those people though, actually had the home there and here, like there were clients that I worked with a couple of years yeah. ago and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy we bought when we did and yeah. mm-hmm. that, but yeah. Well, ask them if they want to sell now, you can make them $200,000 <laughs> more, right? Right. Oh, 
more yeah. than that. I'm not more even than that. You. Yeah. yeah, there is. There are situations here. Um, just close our home for eight hundred thousand client of mine, and they can literally put it back on the market for one point seven. Wow! 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 It's that That's real. real. Yeah. I mean, there are some opportunities for investors. I'm just going to say that. You yeah. Have to yeah. Know how to do it? You know, have to know how to do it, and. Um, you know, it's uh, there's opportunity for everybody, but I do, I do really have heart for those um, first time home buyers. Yeah, mm -hmm. us too. Know, and I had a listing, and we had a situation where I mean, this offer <laughs> between us realtors was very weak in the sense that very little money down. You know, for yeah. that home buyer, you know, relocating. Uh, teacher was, um, you know, the husband was a teacher, and the wife. And they wrote them out. This is another thing I would highly recommend. And I recommended it to them. Write a letter to the mm -hmm. seller and yeah. be real and honest. And, and I tell you what, that letter won the seller over and we are closing on February 28th. Oh, um, awesome. congratulations. So I'm so happy for them. But, and what yeah. about, you know, with that market, you know, we have the higher end market where, I mean, here we are on WATD and we have a lot of water communities here. So a lot of, mm -hmm. you know, wealthy people who can do that, right? They can yeah. afford to have, you know, the bigger homes yeah. there and keep their homes here in Hingham, right. Cohasset, Marshfield and everything. What about the person who just wants to sort like, all right, I just mm -hmm. really want maybe just an entry level condo. Is there even sure. such a thing anymore? Like what is sure. an entry level condo? Three, four, five hundred? Right. I mean, people will tell you no, but there are, mm -hmm. there are, you know, and it's one of those things too, where I, I really hate to see anybody overpay. Yeah. Even in this oh, market. So. We were just talking about that. Too. Yeah. You know, we'll talk and, there. yeah. <laughs> I mean, there are some properties where I'm like, are you kidding me right now? No, don't even look at it. And here's why, you know, yeah. <laughs> but if yeah. we want to, we do, we do. It's not about me. It's about them. But I mean, no, there are and that. And honestly, that's another reason why I'm a fan of big construction because by the time it's built, yeah, um, there will be a lot of equity or at least some. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. at least yeah. you know, who knows? We can't look at a crystal ball. Um, but yeah, and there are those, there are those condos. I mean, you gotta look, but, but trust me, you, you gotta move fast on them. Yeah. And you yeah. have to be prepared a lot of times to to have to do some renovations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me say this too, because we have six minutes left, if you can actually believe that. And I want to, wow. at the end, be sure to make sure that we are able to get your information out there to all of our listeners here on the South Shore. And we'll love to have you back again. Um, but one of, you know, when people, um, uh, now I sort of lost my train of thought. Okay. So people are here. Are you FaceTiming or doing things like that? Yes, while people are looking. So explain to people how they can still live here while you're doing the work, the leg oh, work yeah. for them down there. Just the other day, I, I had a beautiful listing, and um, of course, we had a ton of showings. And I actually had a realtor come in who had never been in the community before. Now I'm a listing agent, so the buyer's agent came in, and they were FaceTiming somebody from I want to say Connecticut, mm -hmm. because this couple missed out on a lot of properties that were really great. And he said, "Listen, if you want it, you got to move forward now, and I will FaceTime you." And he actually asked me to, to do the whole hosting and take them through and explain everything, which I was very happy to do. Mm -hmm. And um, you see that all the time. And mm -hmm. I have to do it with my buyers. And, you know, and that's part of the, the trust relationship with the realtor yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and buyer. Because I'm not, you know, I, I couldn't live with myself. I, it's everything but, you know, I'm going to show you. And it really ultimately is your decision. And here's my opinion on it. And this is what it looks like. And we got to see it yesterday. We can't wait. Yeah. yeah. Two days. You know, we got to be on it. So if somebody were serious, a serious buyer, and they wanted to see something, I would call the agent, get all the background scoop. Do you have any offers? Does, does my client have a chance? Is it even worth our time to go look at it? You know, will, will they accept a mortgage offer? You know, because a lot yeah. of realtors are very upfront about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you have to, like I said, be prepared and be trusting or mm -hmm. get down here and enjoy the sun and the beaches and come with me and let's find mm -hmm. you a place. <laughs> yeah. And that's one of the things I love about having our conversation because people that I bring on this radio show are people that I would trust and I would use myself. Yeah. And I remember, you know, it seems like everyone we bring on, you know, we had somebody who did like cleanings of like tiles and if he didn't think he could do it, he wouldn't. But I really do trust that if you didn't right. think it was a good opportunity, mm -hmm. you would 100% say, uh, uh, I think we can do better. Hold on. So, um, well, I couldn't agree more in that sense. Yeah. I mean, this is a very enlightening conversation. Yeah. 
yeah. And the team that I'm sure you're the same way, you know, I have my favorite attorneys, I have my favorite inspectors, I have, you know, all the people that are so important as part of a transaction are like family, you know, and I trust them implicitly and they help make everything go smooth. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, Amy, if you could just let all of our listeners know how they can get in touch with you, because our WATD listeners are certainly tired of uh, all of this snow up here. And there are many of us who want to go that way. I'm not going to fib. I've been looking a little bit myself. And, uh, you know, I'm just getting prepared. So when I go down there in March, maybe you can show me a few things, by the sure. way. Sure. Um, so let everybody know how they can get in touch with okay. you. Well, my name is Amy Van Wyk. Uh, my Phone, do I give my phone number? Yeah, right? absolutely. 239-777-8779. One more time. Say it one more time so people can. 239-777-8779. And my email address is Amy, that's A as in Apple, M as in Mary, Y as in Yellow, V as in Victor, W123 at gmail.com. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And again, Texting you can go on Zillow. Because if I'm showing property or in me, I can always, you know, I can always respond to you right away. And then we can set up a time as to when we can actually talk. And we will be sure to get that phone number out on all of our uh, web pages and everything yeah. else. And uh, definitely to our listeners, make sure that you go on to Amy's Zillow page as well. You can see all of her reviews. You mm -hmm. will no doubt understand why I chose her of all the realtors that are down in Florida. Like I was literally just looking for <laughs> Florida and that's what, you know what, but God has a way. I'm telling yeah. you, there are no coincidences. No coincidences. So Amy, yeah. again, thank you so much. Um, yeah. I have goosebumps. We're meant to be friends. I'm going to see, yeah. you, in March. <laughs> see you in March. And it was Appleton, Wisconsin. Appleton? Oh my gosh. Tell, I'm, I'm deep here, which is 20 minutes away from there. Perfect. Well, you're going to love them too. So thank yeah. you so much, Amy. We appreciate thank you. Bye. 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 Thank Bye. You. Bye, George. So that was great. So... Amy, thank you so much. That was wonderful. And we'll make thank sure you. that um, it goes by so fast, doesn't it? It does. I can't so believe fast. it. That was really fun. Yeah. And uh, what we'll do, too, so George will send us everything. We're still live on Facebook, by the way. Um, but George will send us everything, and then we'll have it uploaded to our uh, podcast and then we'll send that out to you too mm -hmm. so if you want to share it uh, but you'll be able to share it right well she'll be able to share it right from Facebook as well as long as she's friends with you on yeah, Facebook yeah. Yeah. Okay. so just request sharing as a friend on Facebook okay okay all right we'll do and then um yeah so you can send it as a link are you saying that I can send it to my family and yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 absolutely yeah okay. yeah absolutely that will be great and then you know what, as things are sort of changing and you want to feel like, hey, let's just have an update, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. how things are going. Yeah. Maybe what we can do is just even like a, hey, we're just going to stop the show and Amy's going to call in real quick yeah. because we want to yeah. know if you got your if you got your offer accepted. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. It's Fingers crossed. I'm waiting on one too. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right, Amy, well, have a great night. It was awesome to see you. Good night. Right, bye, bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. Nice. She's so nice. Very sweet. Yeah. I mean, perfect. like li literally the two of you are two peas in a pod. That was perfect. Seriously. Is it Appleton there? That's what he said. Appleton was coming. Yeah. Appleton, it's just I should have thought of that because that's the street Casey lives on. Appleton? Hello. Appleton? Bye, Facebook friends. Bye. <laughs>